Okay, great. Now that you're watching this video, you should have all six basic views set up and you should have a scene that looks something like this. For a relatively simple object, these six cameras should be enough to create a reference images for the outside of the chest minus the handle. So what about those certain objects that you had to hide due to problems like them obscuring the surfaces behind them that you need to texture? Uh, well, you have to isolate them and create cameras for them all on their own. So I'll turn Virofim on for this one, so it'll help us. Uh, and now you should just create, set your view so it faces the lock and the handle about dead on and press Control c to create a camera. Alright, now go to the Modify panel, name this one Camera underscore Shot 8, I believe. And now make sure orthographic projection is turned on. All right, now again, use the dolly camera tool to frame the model. And now just go to the hierarchy panel and make sure all the locks are engaged here as well as uh, go back to perspective mode as well as on the target. Okay, now go back to the rest of your model. Okay, now we'll take the pictures that the artist will use as reference. Before we begin, make sure you have your skylight set up. Then, we'll have to introduce a simple environment background so the transparent elements are more obvious to the artist. So turn wireframe back off, press M to open the material editor, and create a new uh, material that we will use as the background. So right click, go to maps, go to checker and then select it by double clicking on it and uh, switch this black dark color to something a bit lighter so it doesn't disturb the artist that much alright now set a tiling of about 10 by 20 and now with this window still open go to rendering environment and here you'll see a little box called environment map. Now just drag this line onto the environment map box right here. When asked, you should pick instance and click OK. Now this use map checker box should automatically get checked for you, but if it does not, then you should check it use map. All right, now you can close the window. And now under this viewport menu, you go to viewport background and you select environment background. So now you have your environment set up and as you can see I actually switched these two. So again you can since we since we entered instance there we can just switch these two. Alright. So now it looks like squares. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so now you have a checkerboard background to help distinguish uh, transparent objects. Um, and lastly let's go to the display panel and under hide by category select lights and cameras so this way you will only see the geometry when you're taking pictures alright now begins the shooting process activate a viewport with realistic shading and shadows turned on so you have uh, a model that is shaded something like this and also you should have the viewport background turned to the texture you've set all right, now under this viewport menu, select your first camera. And now go to Tools, Views, Grab Viewport, and Create Still Image File. It'll offer you to add a label to the image before grabbing it. And here you should enter some relevant, useful information for the artist to use. And one of those should be the number of the shot. So this is shot number one and the description should be the back of the chest and press enter to grab it all right now just click save image on the new window that pops up and you should have a folder already set up for these uh, pictures all right so name this one shot1.tga and there you go you saved your first shot so that was a simple case all right, uh, let's get on with the second shot, which is the front of the chest. So go to the second camera. 
And now as we have the handling frame, which is obscuring some parts of the chest, this is the time to select its material and decrease its opacity to about 20%. All right, make sure you have your lights and cameras hidden. And now, again, go to Tools, Views, Grab Viewport, and create still image file. Now this one should be labeled as Shot to the front of the chest and grab. Okay, again, save it as Shot 2tga these settings should be good by default by the way and click OK to save it all right now by similar means let's go to the third camera I'll leave in the handle so the artist knows which part of the chest is the front view all right and again let's grab it I'm gonna some shot free and this is what looks like the left side of the chest Alright, save it as shot3.tga. Alright, so now you should have all uh, five basic views set up because we don't have to take a picture of the bottom of the chest because the player will never see it. So that part has also been deleted. Alright, now let's go to the camera view that uh, is looking at the handle. Alright, now just isolate the handle and make sure its texture is. 100% opacity and again go to tools views grab viewport create still image file and we'll name this one shot 6 handle we'll only be taking a picture of the front of the handle because the side can easily be painted in by artists once we have the texture complete all right, so let's save this shot six. All right, let's go back to your model. Okay, so now we should have the basic shots set up, but what about the inside of the chest? So for this, uh, we'll first create the top view, and for that, you'll I'll open up the chest lid 180 degrees, so you can see inside both of them from above and I have created a new camera which has the chest in frame from such a view so again go to shots views wrap viewport create still image file and name this one shot 7 the chest from above open all right, let's save this as shot7.pga. All right, great, but uh, what about the inside of the chest from the side? Well, uh, we can use our existing cameras for that. And uh, so what you got to do is you got to go into one of the cameras that shows the chest from one of the side views, either from the front or the back in this case. Uh, and then you should go back to perspective view actually. Uh, Re-enable your camera uh, visibility for a second and select your camera that you're going to use. I think I'll actually use the front camera for this one. And under the modify panel, under clipping planes, just check clip manually. And alright, and now you should switch to the camera that you have selected and under the modify panel increase the near clip value so this is about 2.5 or about at 3 meters for me they should start clipping into the chest so make sure only the inside is visible so now we have a good shot of the inside of the chest yeah, also make sure that we have the opacity of the handle down to 20% again. Okay, and now just go to Tools again, Views, Grab, Viewport, Create Still Image File, and I'm going to name this one Shot 
eight the inside of the chest front grab and save as shot eight.pga. Okay, now we will only take one front and one side picture for this to save time. And now let's go look at a side view. So again, go back to perspective and go to clip manually here and reselect your camera. All right, so have so check clip manually and again increase the near clip until you see the side of the chest disappear. All right, now you should have a good view of the inside of the chest. Okay, and now let's just go to tools, views, grab viewport, create still image file, and we're gonna name this one shot nine. The inside of the chest side. And click grab and just save it as shot9.tga. Okay, now we have all the shots set up that the artist should use uh, to paint on, but we should also set up some reference shots. So I'm going to close the lid back on this chest. All right, hide your cameras again, make sure those are hidden when you're not working with them. Uh, and let's take some reference shots for the artist. So let's frame this model real quick. All right, wait until the shadows render. Now go to tools, views, grab viewport, create still image file, and label this as reference only. So the artist knows that they're not supposed to paint in this. And actually, I forgot to uh, re enable the opacity here. All right. Now go to views, grab viewport, create still image file, and enter reference only for this. And now click save image and save this one as reference1.tga. Okay, let's take a few more shots from a few more angles. Take one from the back. Reference pictures are important because it helps the artist visualize which uh, colored parts of the model belong where. And they will ha it'll help them find their way around the actual orthographic shots that are have to paint over a lot better. All right, so let's take a shot, something like this. And it'll also help them visualize what the texture will look like once applied to the model. All right. So again, go to and save it as reference for that TGA. All right, that should be enough references. I'm gonna close the like, lid back down. And turn your cameras back on and your lights too, because we're done. But I'll also make sure that all your cameras, all your cameras are locked down. All right, so make sure you have all your cameras and their targets selected. Go to the hierarchy panel and make sure all the locks are checked. All right, now you can turn up the background. So go to viewport background and select solid color. That's a lot better. And now you can just save your model. All right, so you should navigate to the folder where you saved your uh, references and your shots, select all of them and add them to an archive. All right, once you're done, you should send this archive to the artist and they will handle it from there. And once you receive your painted over shots, we will continue. Where you have your, oh my. <laughs>